right, let's get started. Because it's hot, I'm wearing a pumpkin shirt, I'm sweating, and I literally don't know what I'm gonna do. Hi guys, that was such an aggressive start to my video. I'm so sorry. Thank you for sticking with me though. The main palette I wanted to focus on today is my Lorac Pro 3 palette because I have not used this in forever and this is actually a great palette. Let me give you a close up on all the shades because it's definitely my type of shades and stuff like that. And I wanted to really use this to like get use out of it because I'm not getting use out of it. I mean I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I do not get enough use out of but eventually I will. I don't know I'm literally picking out all of the things that I have to use right now because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm so lost right now. Don't worry about me. So we are going to start off with my favorite foundation and you already know what it's called. It is called the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I just fixed a little bit of my lighting situation because I thought it was done. So we're going to use the It Cosmetics CC Cream all over our face because that is exactly what we need to do because we have to cover all of this nastiness that is on our face right now. So I'm going to take it on the back of my hand and use my orange blue defender that matches my shirt. Yes. Sorry, I'm a little weird because it's a little hot. Or like a lot of hot. But we don't need to talk about that. And I'm going to just blend it in with my beauty blender as evenly as possible. Even though my skin isn't even, but you know my foundation makes it even. We already know. I also think I'm a little too tan for this. But we'll just blend it out. And now we're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because it is the only concealer that I have because I li literally recently just threw out a lot of my makeup and I was like, I don't use this, I don't need it, I don't use this, I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. And I was like, goodbye makeup. I barely even use makeup to begin with on normal days because it is way too hot for that. And then when it's not hot, I'm in school, so like I don't use makeup in school. I barely use makeup in school. I love makeup, and like if someone were to send me makeup, I would love them too. But you know, we're just gonna stay in the little parts of YouTube that only has like three views. I did a 4th of July makeup yesterday. I don't know if it came out good, so here's a boomerang of it right here. I don't know if you can tell. If you like it, I'm not going to recreate it because it's not 4th of July anymore. But I am going to use my Sacred Bare Minerals Invisible Light Powder. I'm going to use the matte side of it. It was really hot today, honestly. I went on a 6 mile run today. That was a bad idea. Really bad idea. And then my app, the Nike app, was not recording it. And I was like, great. So I got up at 8 in the morning, left by 8.30. Went on a run for almost an hour and a half. I almost died. So next for powder, I'm going to use my one and only trusty Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim White. And you already know the deal. We swirl it in here and put it along our face and our neck so it can match the rest of our body because you already know I'm dark as Hank. Today is like the hottest day and I'm just not with it. I can't turn on my AC because then it'll make noise and no one wants that. So after this video, you already know I'm going to turn on that AC though. Now we're going to move on to brows and we already know the deal. We are going to use our NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in dark brown because our hair is dark as heck. Just to fill in the gaps because even though they are caterpillars, they are they're balding caterpillars. Oh my god, I am a genius. My eyebrows are balding caterpillars. We do the same thing that we do for one eyebrow to the next eyebrow so they could be sisters, not twins, but you know, mine are literally like cousins and distant relatives, but it don't matter. We're not leaving the house today, so I could put as much makeup as I want and no one is going to judge me. Look at this brush. It's so clean. I never use it. That's why. I don't know if we should do highlighter next. Or eyeshadow next. They do eyeshadow. We are going to start off with the shade Canvas to set our eyes. Even though we set it with the other powder. 
this sets our eyes completely. We're gonna use a total of like two brushes because they're all dirty right now. They're like red, white, blue, all these colors. I don't know if you can tell, but there are a lot of different colors in there and they're supposed to be white. So we are going to use this flat brush and take the canvas shade and place it all over our eyes to um, act as a base for everything. I literally today ate a whole box of the hot and spicy Cheez-Its. You guys do not know the deliciousness of that. I'm usually a vegan like most of the time, but like that was good. It was literally so good. I've never tasted it before. I've tasted the white cheddar one and the normal cheddar obviously, but that hot and spicy one it's kind of my new favorite. Now we're going to take the terracotta shade that I talked to you about before and place it all over our crease. We're just going to put it all over our crease to fully define the crease, I think. I think that's what crease colors do, but I'm not really sure. I wish I did the crazy makeup looks like the rainbow one I did before, but that was like an inspiration from a James Charles look. I wish I actually was creative enough to like make my own eyeshadow looks, but like... No, I'm not time for now. And like, I'm trying to be relatable here. I can't do normal things like these beauty gurus are doing. Like Nikki to Charles, I applaud you from your creativity because like I cannot do it. I'm just a college student, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know everything. I wish I wasn't a college student, but you know, we have normal people lives to live. I'm also taking that terracotta color and placing it on my lower lash line because we have to have a seamless look. And I'm going to be taking it on the other side of this brush, which is like a pencil tip almost. Like a rounded pencil tip. And it's from the Naked Smoky palette, but I threw that out a long time ago because that was like the worst eyeshadow palette I have ever used. No wonder it's not like on the permanent line. No one needs that. So we have various options to choose for for our lid shade and I think I've used rose bronze a lot and I've used almond pearl a lot, I use like pewter a lot. I think I'm going to use the dark mocha shade in this palette because I haven't really used that one and it's like a really pretty color. To get the highest pigmentation from a brush I would use a setting spray and the brush and all of that. But I don't have that. I don't have clean brushes, nor I don't have setting spray because I am on the edge of money right now. We're just going to be taking it on our ring finger and we're going to be putting it all over our lid just to start. And then we'll blend it out. I don't really use dark colors all over my lid, but I think it looks elegant. I'm going to be taking this fluffy side of this brush that I use for my crease and I'm going to take some of the crease color. I'm going to blend in the dark mocha color. I wish I had like followers so that they could like ask me questions and so I could talk more in these videos but I don't. So we're going to just talk about ourselves and talk about the things that comes up to my mind. The only thing that comes up to my mind right now is how I have to go back to school soon in August and I'm not looking forward to it so I'm pre-filming a lot. It's my last semester and I'm so excited about it. But, you know, we do what we have to do. I don't know if I should put a darker color in my crease and I think I'm going to do that. But I'm not sure what color to do because we have a choice between dark brown, truffle, which is also shimmery, but I'm not really sure I'm able to use that. And we also have black. So that was a bad swatch. <laughs> so this is dark brown and this is mocha. And I think I'm going to use mocha even though it's a little shiny. So we're going to take a pencil brush kind of, but like a looser pencil brush. And I'm going to lightly place it on my outer corner I should stop here but I'm not because I'm in a mood and I think I'm going to place almond pearl in the center of my lid just so it could pop a little they need to have more dimension in it if this makes any sense I could use uh, another brush to have more pigmentation but like 
what did I tell you? They're all dirty. In order to lighten up the inner corner, the brow bone, and the rest of our face, we will be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Old Book. I haven't used this in a while, and I really wanted to take this out to use it because, like, I missed it, or, like, I felt like it was neglected. So we're gonna be taking it on a flat brush and placing it in the inner corners. The brow bone. And the center of our face. I mean, I should put it on my cheeks. Let's see how it looks because I haven't put it, I haven't put anything on my cheeks in a while. So let's see. Does it look good? I don't know. I don't put on bronzer, so there's like no distinct highlight. But hopefully it looks good because, I don't know, I want it to look good, but it doesn't have to if it doesn't want to. Now let's do it on the other side as well, with my orange shirt. Hopefully you don't see all my pimples because I don't want it to accentuate them all. But it is such a beautiful highlighter. I actually forgot how beautiful this was. It's kind of on the verge of being too dark for my skin tone, but now that it's summertime, I think that it works better. Oh, I can't feel my legs. I was going to do um, eyeliner, but like, I'm a little lazy today. So we're just gonna move on and put on mascara. I don't really use lashes because I think that my small eyes don't look good with lashes, but you know, no one's gonna watch this, so. Now we're gonna put a coat on the other eye. It's literally so hot. It's so hot. Why is it so hot? I think that's a little better. Hopefully it's a little better because I'm not changing it. So the last step to our makeup look should be lipstick. And we're going to be using my grimy, grimy, grimy Estee Lauder lipstick in Pinkberry. I should have been using this for my project pan, but I wasn't really. I will update you on that soon. If it's not my next video, it's going to be my video afterwards. And I'm going to, because it's so grimy, like you can't put it all over your lips. Like a normal lipstick, you have to use it on a pencil brush. It's like your lips but better, but like a little bit cool toned. I used to wear this so much like two years ago or three years ago because I the time my lip goes by so fast. Now I don't really use it that much. I just use chapstick because I barely wear makeup anymore. But I'll update you on my project pan. I don't know if I'm gonna throw it out or something like that. But so guys, this is the complete makeup look, and I hope you guys like this video. And if you like the realness of the video, please thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.